Yer. What's going on, gang? This is Justin Boone, and I'm back with another YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for your support on my last video, and thank you guys for sticking with me as I continue this journey of making more content. Please let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see more from me so that I can continue on this journey. Uh, it's kind of tough sometimes to come up with new and fresh ideas, especially when there's so many content creators now here on YouTube. But I want to do things that you guys uh, are specifically desiring and wanting from me. So it's a big help to me when you guys comment and let me know what you guys want to see in the future. Uh, for this video, what we're going to do is recycle a video that I've done in the past and talk about my current jury rotation. So I'm not going to go through my whole jury collection, but we are going to go through my rotation right now, what I'm wearing, what my daily wears are. My collection in itself is not very big anymore. So we've kind of cycled down, um, trickled down. We're not wearing like a big cluster of jewelry anymore. I would love to get back to that place. I'm um, just really a lot more specific about who I'm supporting, where my jury's coming from. And then I'd like to design jury myself as well as I get into the future. So with that being said, we're gonna dive right into it. And we're gonna start somewhere where we didn't start last time. And I'm gonna talk about my earring. So um, my earring is a nail pendant that was gifted to me by my mom. I don't remember who designed this, um, but it's three nails, uh, as you can see, that uh, make the cross which I love. And then it's on just a standard hoop. I think this is like from Claire's or somewhere cheap. I do want to replace these one day because um, the hoop that I had in my other ear fell out. So right now I'm just rocking the one, um, which is okay, but you know, it's always better to have two. I, I'm, I'm really big on balance. So I, I'd love to just have two earrings again. So um, if anybody out there has any suggestions on good silver hoops, let me know or else I might just make them. Um, and then we're gonna start and go from necklaces down to the wrist and then to the hands. So um, my first necklace I wanna show you guys is from a black designer based in New York City. And his name is Bernard James. This pendant is from his mirror collection. This was a friends and family edition made in 925 silver, um, which I love so much with an 18 karat gold um, jump ring there to harness the chain to the pendant, which I love that he featured that on there. Really sick piece, um, really happy about this. I wear this necklace every single day. Um, don't take it off for any occasions. So hyped on this. Thank you so much, Bernard. Next up um, is another gift from another black designer um, in New York City. This next chain and pendant is from Jarvay Cherry. Um, Jarvay is a good friend of mine. Uh, this necklace, this pendant is my first ever Jesus piece. So really hyped on this. I've never had a Jesus piece, I'm not sure why, um, but really, really excited to have this one. It's flat on the back, so it sits nice and flush against your chest. It doesn't poke you or prod you anywhere. Um, the chain is nice and dainty and small, um, and this pendant has really nice weight to it, which I love and enjoy. He's now gone into a different direction with his jewelry, but his jewelry is six. I'll link his Instagram and his website down in the bio so you guys can go check that out. But anyway, shout out to you, Jarve. Thank you so much. Next up, we're gonna keep going with the gifts and the sentimental moments. <laughs> um, this chain and necklace uh, were purchased separately. Um, I purchased the chain for this, but it was on a different pendant that you guys may have noticed in my last video. Um, and I've now put it on my cross. So this cross was gifted to me by my mother. Uh, this cross I hold near and dear to my heart. I wear it all the time. I love the stones on it. It's stamped on the back with the designer. Fun story about this necklace, I actually lost the top pendant. The top jewel was actually knocked out while I was playing soccer. And uh, my wife, Tulsha, for my birthday last year, um, she went to Bernard James, who's you know obviously a friend of ours also, and, um, and asked for him to replace it. And he chose the mother of pearl, which was a great idea, but even more reminiscent and like significant for me because my mother gifted it to me in the first place. So really excited about, really happy. Um, thank you so much, Telsha, honey, I love you. And thank you, Bernard. This is uh, even more special than it was before. Love this necklace a lot, won't ever take it off. Next up um, for the necklaces, we have two more to go. So this one and then one other. This necklace is another one that I've had for a while. I love this chain, I love this link. It works well with everything. Um, it's a great layering piece, easy to put on, easy to take off, uh, really awesome chain. Wear this thing all the time. Really happy to have this and it works well, really well with my current stack. So super hyped on this one. There's nothing too distinct about this chain weaving. So I've seen it before in other designs and, so, and things of that nature. So I uh, can't tell you where I got it from, but it is vintage and I've had it for a couple years now. 
Last but not least, um, another vintage necklace, probably one of my favorites to date, um, is this necklace here. Um, it sits really nicely on me, which is why it's my favorite, uh, or one of. Um, and it has these etchings on it, which make it really, really unique. I love the way the designer did this. To my knowledge, they would have all had to have been individually um, worked and then linked together. So that makes it really special. Um, clasp here is also the same way, which I think is really awesome, really sick. And then same with the toggle that goes on the other side. So really happy about this. Love this necklace. When I found it, I was so hyped on it. I think this was like 300 bucks or something. This was a no brainer for me. We're gonna move right on down to the wrists. Uh, this first bracelet that I'm gonna show you guys was a gift. This one is from Degs and Sal. I'll link this down below as well. Love this bracelet a lot. I love the stacking on this. It's almost like one of those like shell bracelets from like the early 2000s almost, um, but it's done in all complete silver and it's on a cord. Easy bracelet. You know, like I said, I don't take this off ever. It's one of those things that, you know, the material and then if, of course it being actual real silver, it makes it super easy to just keep on no matter what I'm doing. Next up for the bracelets uh, is another vintage piece. Uh, this is another one that I got probably around the same time that I got that necklace that I just showed you, the last one. Um, actually really similar link style, but this one doesn't have any etchings on it. This is just plain. Um, so. This one I've had for a minute. Again, another silver bracelet. Super simple, super easy. Um, nothing too crazy about it, but uh, everything doesn't have to be so outrageous and so overdone. So, And then last but not least, my favorite, favorite, favorite um, designer of jewelry and also my favorite bracelet that I own currently at the moment is from Horse and Booze. So this bracelet was gifted to me by my wife. Um, you guys see this is Horse and Booze. This is their um, iconic link, um, which uh, you guys will see more of as I continue to go through my collection um, of rings. This is so awesome. The attention to detail here is absolutely phenomenal. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just like, it doesn't get any better than this. Uh, it is absolutely insane. And there's uh, diamonds here. I lost one. Um, just because I never take it off. So I'm sure I knocked into it skateboarding or something, but I'm gonna get that replaced. I don't know if you guys can see it. That one right there is, is out. So I have to get that replaced, um, but love this so much. And then uh, what I did is I put a charm on it, which is also from Horse and Booze, if you guys can see this. This charm is a part of their sacred collections. And on the back, it has his initials, RGK. I don't know if that's picking up, but it has RGK and then number one of 22. So he only made 22 of these with a turquoise stone and silver. And I have edition number one, super sick, super hyped on that. Um, and that completes the wrist stack. Really short, really simple. Um, gets the job done though. You know, it's really quick, really easy. And I don't have to take any of these off. So first up on the rings, um, this is the one that I wear on my index finger. This is another horse and booze product. So if you guys can tell, you guys can see those same kind of links that were on the bracelet. Really cool design there. Um, and then on the inside, it does have um, a Horse and Booze logo and the 925 stamp in there. So that one goes boom right here. So that is number one. Uh, next up on my middle finger, this is another Horse and Booze ring. Um, this one I love so much as well. Great ring for stacking. You could buy like five of these and they will look absolutely incredible just stacked right on top of each other. So this one I slip right on top on my middle finger there. And then this ring, another one with the same exact ring here, um, but it's intertwined with this ring here. And this is again, another horse and booze design, which I think is awesome because they can separate. So I can take these rings apart and I can wear them separately or because there's this notch in here, there's this notch in here, I can click them together. Um, and this ring actually is called the Phantom Click. I'll link everything down below so that you guys can see it, don't worry. Next up, moving on to my ring finger. This is not a commercial for Horse and Booze, I promise. I'm not paid to do this, I genuinely love the brand. This is another Horse and Booze ring. This one here was my first Horse and Booze ring ever. Um, this one I got maybe four years ago. Uh, this one I was in love with. I wore it to the ground. I still wear it. You can tell. But this ring is absolutely stunning. Love this ring a lot. And I definitely expect to continue to expound upon my Horse and Boots collection. Sorry, not sorry. So 
there we are there. And then the last ring for my right hand is this vintage ring that I have from Elvira Bill. So I'm not sure if she still makes jewelry, but I love this. Um, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a cross, but it feels like a cross with, you know, the waves coming out of it on both sides. Um, love this ring a lot. It has their name stamped inside with, this, uh, with the sterling silver stamp in there. This ring is so great and I stack it right on top of my horse and blues ring and that finishes me off. I'm sorry, I missed one. Another ring, this, will, this one will look familiar that goes right on top of this horse and booze ring is from Bernard James. So this, if you guys notice, is just like the pendant. Um, it's from the Mirror Collection as well. This was also a gift, so thank you so much, brother, for this. Um, this was absolutely an amazing ring. Him and I are talking about actually designing some jewelry together potentially, so this was a gift that he gave me um, as we begin discussing um, some ideas of collaborating. So this one goes right on top of the horse and booze and then that finishes me off. So that is how I stack my rings and how I continue to plan to stack in the future. Now, my last ring, the most important piece of them all is my wedding band. So this ring, if you guys can see, is probably a little confusing, um, but, and yes, again, this is horse and booze. So this is a, actually a collab um, ring that I did with Horse and Booze and Spinelli Kilcollin that I designed. Um, so this setup itself, like the design itself exists already as a collaboration um, with the Spinelli, with the three Spinelli rings and then the two Horse and Booze rings. But within this collaboration does not exist the color, the diamond bridges between the Horse and Booze links. So. As you guys take a look at that, um, this ring, like I said, was designed by myself. Um, they're all connected. This is this ring was very important and very special for me. So I went 18 karat gold on the gold Spinelli bands and then 19.5 silver on the horse and booze rings. And then there are diamond bridges between each and every link on both rings. So um, this ring is very special to me, of course. Um, not just because it's my wedding band, but because I was able to design this myself. This thing stacks on perfectly. But, you know, just off first glance, I just love like the power that's in this. Like, just look at that. Like, I'm married, I'm off the market. So that's what I love about this and just having a bare left hand aside from my wedding band. So this hand will remain bare forever. I could stack upon this uh, left hand, but um, it will always be on my ring finger. That is the completion of my current jewelry collection. Please let me know in the comments below if you guys have any more questions or anything like that. Um, like I said, I'd love to start designing jewelry before you guys have any more questions about that. I don't have a date on when I, when, when products will be available yet, but I do have designs in my head and in my mind, things that I'd like to work towards. Um, so I will keep you guys in the loop about that for sure. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe so that I can, so that I will continue to make these videos. Your support is so appreciated and I couldn't do this without you guys. Peace. Gold all in my chain. Gold all in my ring. Gold all in my watch. Don't believe me, Jet I actually do want a watch. I don't have a watch yet, but a watch is coming up next. Don't you worry. Don't you worry.